Hello everyone to my new tutorial. My name is Kim, better known as Fortune. This is my new name. What is the topic? If you ever wondered when you are new to music production, how can you start making music? Yeah. Well, actually, when I started making music, I was really like confused about all these information that you find in the internet. Actually, it should help you, but somehow you are kind of overwhelmed and overkilled with, with all these information. And so today I would like to give you a little guideline in how to start and how to proceed in making music. Um, there's a lot to cover, so we are starting directly. Um, so the first thing is, where do I start? When you are completely new to music production, you actually don't know where you start. You maybe mess around in your digital audio workstation, but think, oh my god, I don't know how to do kicks, and oh my god, I don't know how to make a beat, what sounds, how do I make sounds, what is sound design, so many different questions, and yeah, you cannot get rid of it. That's actually the first good thing to know. In the beginning you are always overwhelmed and this will last for maybe, in my case it was really about two years or something, one and a half to two years until I got really the clue, the basic clue about music production. So actually you have to be a little bit more relaxed. Um, directly said where you can start, learn your digital audio workstation. Maybe at the beginning you're also wondering what is mixing, what is mastering, what is sound design, how do I design sounds. You have to do this step by step. And you cannot start with one step and then proceed to the next one. It's always more chaotic than uh, the theory behind it. So sometimes you read something about mixing, sometimes you read something about sound design. And actually you have to accept that this is kind of very chaotic and you have a lot of questions and um, this is normal. <coughs> Fuck it. <laughs> well, um, me, I'm famous. Maybe important or interesting, maybe interesting is how I learned making music. Well, I'm producing music now since maybe 2000 and I guess 2006 or something. And uh, I began, I started with uh, Fruity Loops and really it, it sounded like shit. I Somehow I maybe have no real talent in making music because I know people that really are very productive already at the beginning of making music. So, well I just begin, began in using presets, making basic stupid stuff like very pattern based, no effects, no no um, how to say transitions from, from the intro to the bridge, no song structure at all. So, yeah, that's actually the way of starting, you know, uh, experimenting, learning your music production studio, like Fruity Loops or Reason, maybe for the beginning, or even Ableton. Um, and afterwards, you read a lot in the internet, you use YouTube, otherwise you wouldn't have found me, of course. Um, and that's actually already it. You have to be patient because you at least, in my opinion, need one year to get a basic clue about making music. Um, I, for myself, produce kind of progressive house, very melodic, not, not really for the club, but like chilling and all this. Sometimes also electro house. And you can also find um, other tutorials on my channel, mostly Reason, sometimes Ableton. Um, anything else to say? Well, maybe you think, okay, this is not a real guideline, as I said in the beginning. But sorry, there is no real guideline. Everyone has a different way of learning. Everyone has a 
different interested. Some people are interested in mixing music, some people are interested in remixing music, or maybe like me, I was mostly interested in sound design. But maybe at the beginning you don't really need sound design in my opinion because you can use presets, good presets from uh, VSTs. And then you look how they did the sound, analyze the preset, maybe deactivate more oscillators and all the effects. And then you start to see what is used for what. I started this a while ago, learning presets, watching presets and then try to build them again. And uh, this was very interesting because when you for example deactivate, as I said before, all, all of the oscillators and only, uh, only have one oscillator and no effects, then it's mostly just a basic stupid saw wave or something, but the effects then when you add them and know how to use them, it gets a really cool sound. So how can I summarize all this stuff? You have to be patient. There is no real guideline. This is my guideline. There is no real guideline. You have to accept that it is a chaotic process, learning process. Otherwise, um, or the other way is that you visit something like a um, sound school or music school or something, or do um, like tutorials and courses at, I don't know, DubSpot, Quantize Courses, Sonic Academy. There are a lot of good point blank online. There are a lot of good um, academies out there, but of course you have to have some money for it. Maybe most of the people don't have it. I didn't have it, so I learned it by myself. This is also possible, but it takes some more time. Well, that's actually it. Mm, saying at the end that um, I hope you now have learned something. You have to learn by yourself. Come on, guys, of course. Uh, as I did it now for five years or something. And um, when you produce for a while, and if you have maybe some musical talent, then it maybe only needs, only, <laughs> only in brackets, um, needs some years until you can release your first tracks. Some people are faster, some, some, uh, some people are slower, for example me. Um, yeah, actually that's it, you know, and um, I will soon upload new tutorials. Uh, I had to wait for a while because I was uh, doing an internship in Beijing. Now I'm back in Germany here, good old Frankfurt. And if you have any questions, uh, please write them in the comments. And also, I would like to start a discussion about this. Um, please write in the comments what is your opinion, how to start music, how to start making music, how to proceed making music after you started making it. And if you have any other tips for the people out there to get their shit much better than months before. There are so many tips actually, I could talk maybe half an hour or something, but um, this is maybe too much. Let's see how this video will be accepted in the YouTube community and there's a lot of resonance, a lot of people, then maybe I could do another one. So for this time I say thanks very much for watching and I hope that you will learn a lot.